Hey guys, this is just a quick video proving the conservation of mechanical energy in 2D. It involves a pretty heavy use of calculus, so you need to know the multivariable chain rule and maybe a little bit of stuff like gradients, but for the most part I've tried to simplify it as much as I possibly can, and in the end I get the very familiar expression that kinetic energy plus potential energy is a constant, hence conserved. All right, let's get started. Let's say we have our particle just here, and let's say it's swooping out some complicated path in 2D because there is an external force acting on it, which I will call F, like this. Now, what is the equation of motion for this particle? Well, we already know from Newton's law, it's gonna be mass times acceleration is equal to your force F just here. And for simplicity, we're just going to say that our external force is purely a function of position X and Y. The force varies only as a result of the position. It doesn't vary on things like x dot or y dot, which would make it path dependent. Okay, now this is the equation of motion. Where do we go from here? Let's define, let's define this scalar valued function v, which is just a function of position by the following relationship. Gradient of v is equal to minus f. This is my definition for V just here. And in case you don't remember what the gradient is or what this del symbol does, let me write it out for you. This just makes it del V del X I plus del V del Y J. It turns a scalar valued function into a vector like this, okay? Now from this definition, and I appreciate it's completely arbitrary right now, and we're gonna prove that this is later the potential energy. Um, let's just plug this into here and see what we get. Well, we're going to get mass times acceleration, which I will write as x double dot, y double dot, plus, right, bring the f to the other side, plus del v del x, del v del y, like this, is gonna be equal to your zero vector, which I will write as zero, zero, like this. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pre-multiply both sides, pre-multiply by x dot y dot transposed. So if you like, x dot y dot like this. And if we pre-multiply by this guy just here, what will we get? We'll get m times by x dot y dot times x double dot y double dot plus x dot y dot times del v del x del v del y is equal to x dot y dot zero zero there. I've formally written it out for you. Now let's expand this out into our single lined equation. We're gonna get m x dot x double dot plus m y dot y double dot. So that's this term expanded, plus this term which is going to be x dot del v del x plus y dot del v del y, and that's gonna be equal to zero plus zero, which will be zero. Now, this whole expression can be simplified a little bit more. Notice that this term here is actually just d dt of a half m x dot squared. Likewise, this term here is just d dt of a half m y dot squared, let me clean that up, that looks a bit messy, y dot squared, like that. And likewise, this expression just here is actually, if you think about it, this is d v d t, using the multivariable chain rule. Notice v is a function of x and y, so using the multivariable chain rule, you will get exactly this, right? Amazingly. And that is equal to zero. Now we're not quite done here. We can actually um, group the dt's together and integrate, and then we will be left with an integrational constant on the right-hand side. So if we group the dt's together and integrate, we'll be left with a half m x dot squared plus y dot squared, that's grouping the half m's together, plus v, which is a function of x and y, is equal to some integrational constant, which I will call e. Now we're not completely done here. Using Pythagoras, we know what x dot squared plus y dot squared is. 
It's just your speed with which I will write as a lowercase v, right? X dot squared plus y dot squared is equal to v. It's your speed, right? So our final equation for conservation of mechanical energy is a half times your mass times by your speed squared, not velocity speed, right? It's a, it's a, it's a scalar, um, only showing the magnitude of your velocity, plus your potential function v of x, y. Now, these v's are different. This is your speed and this is your potential is equal to your integrational constant e. There we go. We have proven the conservation of mechanical energy in two dimensions. It was a little bit messy, but um, I hope you followed it. This is your kinetic energy just here, right? Where v is a scalar and v, this capital V here is your potential energy. And we've shown that it's equal to a constant, which just like in the one dimensional case, shows that mechanical energy is conserved. Now, another quick minor aside here, we have assumed that your forcing was purely a function of position, meaning that it was a conservative force or a path independent force, right? In general, you could have a force which isn't conservative and then you wouldn't be able to get to this condition. Anyway, guys, this is the conservation of mechanical energy formally proven in two dimensions. I hope you liked it. Cheers.